الله الرحمن الرحيم سنريهم آياتنا في الآفاق وفي أنفسهم حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق أولم يكف بربك أنه على كل شيء شهيد الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته دي برادرز اند سسترز ويل اي وود شير ماي اكسبيرينس ناو ماي باك جراوند از اي ام فروم ا براهمن فاميلي ارثوداكس براهمن فاميلي اند ان ذا براهمن فاميلي ا بريست سيكت اوف ذا براهمن فاميلي اند اي نيفر ڈريمت اي ويل بي محمد عمر ون دي اند اي نيفر وانتيد تو بي يو نو ايفن تو نو وات از اسلام از اول اباوت and uh, we were in my born and brought up in mysore but we started uh, you know my uh, higher studies in bangalore we moved from mysore to the bangalore only then i had a chance to uh, meet a muslim guy only, and then i started discovering islam i was part of the rss but not so aggressive but i was part of the rss and uh, that added more fuel to hate muslims more and my parents uh, a brahmin and i was uh, at a very young age i was given a priesthood it's just that in our religion we give a thread and uh, with that you become a you know a priest they call it as brahmachari so i learned whatever uh, rituals of brahmins at the age of uh, i think 13 or 14 from my uncle maternal uncle and then for my uh, diploma i had to come here to bangalore and when we reached bangalore uh, my parents found in bangalore just that uh, only working will not help us to grow they wanted to do some kind of a business they found a muslim businessman where they can invest in his shop and get a extra source of income and they wanted someone from the family to manage that particular investment in his shop and his shop is still running in vijayanagar and chikpet and everywhere so he agreed for no profit nothing and he gave it in a very uh, in a nice way and my parents were very impressed with him and they started talking about him at home and they wanted me to go and take care of this uh, particular investment which we have done i was not prepared for it i used to tell them that i can work anywhere else but not with a muslim you know i don't like to work with a muslim and there was no such need that uh, you know i have to work because we are not uh, in such a situation that we have to work it's just that they wanted to you know uh, get more of the income and they wanted to manage so i said i will not work with a muslim I managed my first year after coming to Bangalore to escape out of this. The second year, uh, they forced me. You know, my mother used to go in her vacation because it's my money, my investment, it's my business. So I need to go and manage because you are not going there. And my parents, they started insulting me that you know, look at your mother, your father, they are going and doing it part time while you are being useless to family. So well, I started going to that shop just to ensure you know uh, we are uh, managing our business. 
and later you know the shop owner said you know you we don't need you here please help us another shop so i went to another shop which is in chickpet and i started hating him more i mean i started hating muslims more after going to shop because there the hindus were becoming muslims the i've seen some hindu girls and hindu boys who embraced islam and i was shocked and really uh, angry over them that why did you become muslim you know muslims are supposed to be only in pakistan why the hell you are becoming muslims and i started arguing with uh, those uh, girls and the boys but they said you know it's it's truth so we have embraced it. they did not give much of uh, no you know information more than that and the owner of the shop was not during you know he was out of the station during that time and uh, i wanted to know why they embraced islam and i wanted to you know tell them that you don't have the knowledge of hinduism because uh, you are from non brahmin sect and we brahmins are proud hindus and i will share the knowledge of hindus so that you leave this islam and i started arguing with them and he gave me a quran translation of abdullah yusuf ali he said you can read this and if you have any questions you can ask us no problem so i started reading quran meanwhile i also started analyzing hinduism with much more consciousness than what i did previously i analyzed few uh, so called gods as per hindu beliefs and afterwards i concluded that you know hinduism is actually is some imaginary or something false belief it's not making sense for me uh, few i would share uh, one is i started i was a part of rss member and uh, you know ram bhagwan was naturally much more uh, dear to anything else so i started uh, analyzing about ramayana and ram how his life was he is born to a king dashrath and due to some uh, misunderstanding in the family he sent to forest for 14 years and uh, during this 14 years uh, you know, there is a villain called rama ravana he plans to kidnap uh, sita but all this plan is happening while rama is not even aware of this and i was shocked how can a villain plan to you know kidnap a god's wife and god is not aware of this how is this possible and uh, even further what happens is okay he comes and he makes the plot in a very nice way i'll become you know a deer he will tell his associate become a deer in front of her and she will like it and rama and lakshmana will run behind it i will take sita and they really fall into that i was shocked how come rama does not know that deer is a just a you know it's a game to taking my wife and still they go ahead and uh, ram Ra- rama goes first and he never comes back then lakshmana goes putting on rekha and then they go so when both are out of the house ravana comes and uh, he comes in a different uh, uniform as like a, you know as a bhikshaka they call it as beggar and she comes out and he uh, takes her out and he kidnaps her so rama and lakshmana both are so called gods they are not even aware what is happening in their own home and they are uh, victim of that plan that evil plan at the same time sita who is supposed to be wife of the god who is also a goddess as per hindu belief she is also not aware this is a plan to kidnap me and she also become victim and she gets kidnapped and she does not resist she just goes with him uh, because she has no power she resists by word but if she is a god she has to save herself then i, th- I started thinking how can how can such character of ram sita lakshman all this be a god how can i agree that they are gods they when they are not able to save their own family and themselves how will they save me and my family you know if god cannot know what are the evil plans done by the villains and the evil people how will he know what's happening in the world well i was very disappointed but i thought okay we have about crores of god so somebody will save me to argue with these guys and i went and checked uh, ganesha's you know ganesha's history i used to be a favorite ausubilla uh, one of the biggest shirk mushrik you can call it during that time going in temples and singing songs praising for him and i was so favorite for the temple people as well and when i analyzed his life story his mother parvati she creates you know because she wants someone as a watchman she creates and uh, she says you are my security while i'm taking bath i was not able to understand again that why you know parvati who is the most powerful god's wife and they call it as shiva the most powerful god's wife does she need a security okay uh, you know that's again a question mark then he is created 
and uh, Ishwara is, uh, you know, her husband is out. As per Hindu belief, he is the, um, you know, the super power, super power god. He comes back home and he asks, who are you? I am surprised again that how can the creator of this entire world ask who are you in his own home what is happening he does not even know so what will he know my problems his wife has created a person as a security and he himself does not know and he comes to his home and to surprise he will ask who are you so I was again shocked and said okay and still he he you know he wants to go inside and the Ganesha resists that my mother is taking birth, I cannot let you, this is my duty.